in this video, myself, Mike, and Miles all spend 10 days traveling around the Lake District, exploring different areas, driving around, and even climbing a few mountains, and we actually bagged Scarfell Pike. So I hope you enjoy this video. So what have we done so far? We've collected you and we've driven up here up to up the A1 this time and we've come over to the A66 Scotch Corner and then we travelled right over all of Yorkshire, the Northern Yorks and over the, um, the mountain ranges there and then we came home to Keswick. In Keswick we went down to Castle Rig, wasn't it? Castle Rig Stone yeah. Surgery, do you remember? Yeah, it was lovely seeing that again. And then we've just moved our way just down the lakes road and we're now just stopped off at some of the lakes down here, down to Thirlmere. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. And the plan is to go oh. to Hard Not some Rhino, isn't it? The Hard, yeah. The, the route now is actually go to the Langdales. And the Langdales are beautiful. You've got on one side the Langdale Pikes on one side, and on the other, you've got the Crinkle Crags and Bowfell with the band leading up to it. It's absolutely beautiful, Valley. But from there, we're going to be going over what's called Hard Knots and Rhinos, and that really is that's the, arguably the most dangerous road in the country. It's also one of the most beautiful as well. And I think you're going to love it. Perhaps. Yeah, I cannot wait. Yeah, you're going to love that. It's um. Yeah, it's interesting. It's a bit of a tasty route. You wouldn't want to do it unless you're very confident. Is that the best way to put it? Yeah, definitely. And prepared, I guess. So we will find out. Yeah, way. can't wait. <laughs> How's your pie? Very nice. Oh, let's have a look. What's in that? Uh, beef and ale. Lovely. Can't beat the view eating it. <laughs> Now started the hard knots and rhinos pass. We're just gonna keep heading up. It's really steep and narrow road. Do you reckon you got what it takes? To do the do drive. <laughs> I think we could probably do this, my lovely. We found holes in these walls. We like what we saw. Seems so strong until it falls The fire must fall oh, I never felt like this before We're a quarter way in Mike's doing a good drive we Haven't crashed it yet And it's just starting to rain But we're planning on camping Either along here or up the mountain, aren't we? Oh, we're on a mountain Yeah It should be good It's really nice being back in the lakes as well we don't drown. <laughs> Living in a dark clouded eggs, we danced, we fought. We were bound to make mistakes, we love, we thought. But it was always on fire, our house, our this has been the first day, it's been absolutely lovely. So nice meeting up with Mike and Miles again after four months. And yeah, we are now at Wastwater or Wastwater, however you want to pronounce that. I'm just going to take some photos, have a look around, and then afterwards we're going to find somewhere to camp for our first night here. So yeah, it's 
absolutely stunning. Really lovely. It's been raining a lot of the day. I think it's forecast to rain most days so we're here. So we're going to have a look at the weather and plan our days around it for climbing any mountains and things like that. Morning everyone, it is day two in the Lake District. We've just woken up to this absolutely amazing view. It was obviously really cloudy last night, we were in a thick cloud, so we didn't see anything. Um, they're both up as well, so it's absolutely lovely morning. It's still quite warm, but it's got a bit of a chill in the air, and we all slept so well. We literally got in our sleeping bags and that was it, we were all off. But today's going to be, well, we're going to see what the weather's like and sort of plan our day off of the weather. But yeah, it's so nice when you wake up and you see the view that we missed out on. Parked the car last night and hiked up from it and found a really nice place to camp. So we set up the tents, all three of us, made some dinner quick and then went to sleep. So we've just seen the farmer come up and he came from Hard Knots and he walked down here, past, actually went through our camp, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. And then we caught up with him. Now what he's doing is him and a couple of um, his family, if you like, are just doing some of the harder fells and just getting some of the sheep down. So the whole point, what they do is, um, at lambing time, they bring all the sheep down so that they can actually give birth in what's called the lowland down there. This is the byland, and that's the lowland. Um, and what they do is they actually move the sheep down so they can give birth down in the actual fields. And once they've done that and the lambs are a little bit older, they put them back up onto the fells. Also what they do is they bring them down for market once a year, but also sometimes to shore them as well. So the farmers constantly, although the sheep are all over these mountains, they're making sure that they, you know, constantly looked after, making sure they're dipped for um, lice and, and different diseases, making sure that they're healthy. And it's, their, it's their livelihood, so they've got to look after it. And the way they do it is with dogs, and they climb. And you saw he was in a t-shirt yeah, at 7 o'clock in the morning up a mountainside. These guys have got up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And this is nothing to them, they just, they just go. They just, you know, and they move quickly. They move on a mountainside like like we would love to do. Yeah, he was running down there, wasn't he? He was just running down. And we saw at the bottom there was, what, I don't know, maybe a hundred sheep at the bottom. Yeah. And then there was a couple of dogs. This is what you're actually doing. Like, we just gather them in lots. So yeah. I'd normally like lots of 100 to 200 and gather for a few different days. And if I'm right, you and all the different farmers get together, don't you, to help yeah. each other well, out? Yeah, yeah. So how many are there? Well, anywhere between six and eight people come and about 40 dogs. About but, 40 dogs? But today there's only two of us. <laughs> Is there? Uh, just making a little start on some sheep before we start the main gather. So it's like a briefing? Yeah, yeah, well, just get rid of all these that are going to hold us up, the ones that are slow going through the back of the wall and in the bracken so that when we've got plenty of people, we can just get on and gather, and we're not all stood waiting for two or three sheep. And then we can... You're an animal. <laughs> oh, Mars is winning this time, darling. Oh, don't start that. <laughs> Hopefully not the coffee, Becky wants to. Oh, jeez. Not in my bag, really. Bloody, bloody, so, so fast, so. 
Oh my god. What is that? It's in. Is any good this then? Yeah, really good. Kuchu? Yeah, Kuchu. Do you want one? Definitely. Go on. Yeah, for your morning yes. coffee. Yes, please. I need a coffee to wake up. This is uh, oat chocolate and honey. Ooh. Fancy that. <laughs> There's a spoon on the other end. <laughs> that probably yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you see, that's a bit easier, isn't it? Tell us what you think, then. First, QG coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> Tell us what you think, then. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, that. We came in here. We came over. That's Troutbeck. And we headed over to Keswick. And then we came down here on this side. Just trying to find out exactly where we went. No, beg your pardon, we came down here. Yes, we did. We crossed Thurlmere. Thurlmere. Down here to Grasmere. And then we came over to Ambleside, which is here. And then what we did was we came over here, this direction. That's where you and Dad got out and had a look at the lake. Yeah, Rydal. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we came back here through Grisdale and around Langdale. And then we came over here. Rhinos. This is Rhinos. This is Hard Knots. And we are now just here at Boot. Be a 
good man in sight Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good Annie's cooking. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm hmm. So we're all cooking up dinner. Yep. Do you know? At this lovely location, and soon we're going to set up our tents and camp here the night. Aren't we? <laughs> 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 No, you can't. Well, you want loads of little strikes or something. Yeah. And then the bigger ones are better ones you want, like, long straws. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just having our dinner now. Cooked up some sausages, which were really nice, weren't they? They were nice. Yeah, tasty. Made yeah. By this. No, very tasty. Nice view as well. Really pretty. It's gorgeous. So, relaxed, isn't it? yeah, I'm so chilled out today. Really chilled. So, I think we're gonna set up our tents sometime soon and get ready for another night. I don't know what the plan is tomorrow. We don't really have one, we're taking it day by day, aren't we? Minute by minute, isn't mm -hmm. it? Thank you. 
Morning. You open your coffee as well. How did you both sleep? I didn't sleep. I slept perfectly. You had a bit of a wet tent, didn't you? <laughs> it was raining last night in the tent. <laughs> in the tent? In the tent. So the moral of the story is don't use that tent anymore. You yeah. don't recommend it? It's a lovely tent, but it's just not waterproof about the door. Yeah. It's not waterproof. It needs to be um, the Banshee and the Coleman Cobra. Bruiser, they're the best tents of it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> night last night slept so well rained for quite a lot of it I just woke up this morning had a coffee and got to look at this beautiful view can't get better than this so we're now leaving campsite 2 we did plan on staying near that lake that you saw us cooking dinner yesterday but it was quite a busy area so we wanted to get away from the people and find a nice remote place to camp. As you saw it was absolutely lovely. Where are we heading now? We're now going um, along Rhino's Bottom and then we're going to go into the Langdale area yep. and then from Langdale we'll travel up to Ambleside and from Ambleside we'll go to Borrowdale what they call the jaws of Borrowdale which the mountains go really close together uh, we've got a castle crag castle crag which is a lovely little mountain um, quite unique it was one of Wainwright's favorites actually castle yeah. crag and there's also around there a bowder stone which is a huge rock um, glacial rock I think so we're going to have a little explore out there. Yeah.